Hello everyone, this is April from the Etsy shop April May Bloom. I thought I would make a new video of showing you guys how to iron on these name decals onto stockings. I've already made one here as an example, just mostly as an experiment. I wanted to see if you actually could iron onto this fuzzy kind of stocking because this was significantly cheaper than these ones back here. But I used my regular glitter heat transfer vinyl and did the same process I'm about to show you guys. And yeah, as you can see, they're totally stuck on and I think it looks pretty cute. So I made this for my new bunny, so hopefully she likes it. Now I'm going to make these stockings for my niece Holly and then my newborn niece Hadley. So pardon the shakiness of this video, I'm gonna be doing it one-handed, but I just wanna show you guys how easy it is. So the first step is you've got your item that you're gonna be ironing onto. The most important thing, you have to make sure it's either cotton or polyester or a blend of the two. I have done things with like 5% rayon and it's worked, but it actually, it has been tricky. So I really, really recommend making sure you're doing it on a material that's okay. I bought these stockings at a very popular American craft store. Um, and on the inside, it actually had a tag that said they're hundred percent polyester. So I have faith that they will work. So I have these decals that I made and the stocking itself is seven inches. So I've positioned it already to have about an inch on each side but I'm going to take it off the backing sheet and you know, position it again. Let's see. So on this side, it's about an inch and a half. And on this side, it's about an inch and a half. So I've already set up my iron. It is on um, the setting in between three and four, which let's see, that would be for polyester or for cotton blends. I always recommend going with less heat first because you don't want to end up doing something too hot and melting your decal. So let me just give that a quick check. I think that looks, it looks pretty well centered. So all I'm going to do is stick it right on. Now my iron has like a timer within it that does 30 seconds. So I technically don't have to count. I could just rely on my little beep. But if your iron doesn't do that, count to 30 and then we'll lift it up. So I'm applying a light pressure right now, basically because these things are normally done with an actual, um, what do they call it? A heat press. So you kind of have to mimic that. I'm not pressing like super, super hard because as you can see, my counter is so small. I can't fit my entire ironing board even on there. So that's 30 seconds. So I'm just going to check it out just to see if it's actually started to stick. Oh yeah. But you can see it's still, it's still kind of stuck up there. So I'm going to do another 30 seconds. Looks like the fabric is okay. That's just from the pattern of the iron. And then hopefully it'll be completely stuck on within that 30 seconds. Um, some places recommend using like a Teflon sheet or a pillowcase or something on top of these. I've been making items now for I think about two years and I have yet to experience anything bad. The only time I did is um, when I first was starting, I used steam and I made the the regular vinyl decals that I sell, uh, like basically shrivel up. So that was not cool, but this glitter stuff seems to be pretty sturdy. All right, so there's another 30 seconds. Let's see if it, up. Yeah, awesome. So I'm gonna check. I always like to check the little edges because that's where if it lifts up, it's, a, it's always gonna be like on these edges it seems. So awesome. It's stuck within just a minute. I'm going to go over it again just because I like to be extra careful. Just to really make sure it's stuck on there. But typically you can get these things stuck within a minute. I just recommend, you know, doing a little bit longer because I've never had an issue doing it longer. And to me, like, oh, maybe the longer it sets, the better it is. But you know, I am no expert. I am just a girl with a machine and an Etsy shop. So, all right, that's probably good for right now. Take that off. And I'm just going to go over it again real quick. Also to iron out all the little crease marks on the stocking. But it looks like this turned out pretty well. Cool. Hope my niece likes it. All right, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, just get in touch. April May Bloom on Etsy. Thank you. Bye.